Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to solve this interesting system of equations. So we have two equations, first in exponential form and second in, in real good form, the simple form. We'll have x plus y equal to 3 and 4 to the power x plus 4 to the power y equal to 20. And we need to solve these, these equations. So first of all we need to know a really, really good trick. How can we solve it? Take a look. I will write this first equation. So we will have 4 to the power x plus 4 to the power y equal to equal to 20. So I just rewrite the first equation and nothing change if I multiply it both side by 4 to the power x. So I just multiply both side by 4 to the power x right here and right here 4 to the power x. Just multiply both side by 4 to the power x. As a result we will have the next. We will have that 4 to the power x we multiply by this parenthesis and this is the same. So if we multiply 4 to the power x by this parenthesis we will have 4 to the power x times 4 to the power x and plus 4 to the power x times 4 to the power y equal to 20 times 4 to the power x. So as you can see right here we just multiplied this by these parentheses. But moreover we have two same elements so as a result we will have 4 to the power x square. Right here we will have 4 to the power x plus y because we, we need to know the rule. If we have same basis, for example, if we have a to the power x times a to the power y, we can write it as a to the power x plus y. And right here, same basis, different exponent, so we can add this, this exponent. And we, we do this in our case. And equal to 20 times 4 to the power x. So I hope you understand this step. Firstly, multiplying both sides by 4 to the power x. Secondly, simplifying this and remember this rule. So this rule we use right here in this case. So what we're going to do next? Take a look. We have a really good x plus y and we know that x plus y from here equal to 3. So we can easily plug in this, this answer to this x plus y and we will have that our 4 to the power x square minus 4 to the power x times 20 I just bring this on the left and plus 4 cube equal to 64 equal to 0. So we will have our final final equation. So 4 to the power x square minus 4 to the power x times 20 and plus 64 equal to 0. What we're going to do next? Take a look. We have 4 to the power x and we have 4 to the power x 4 to the power x square. So we can write a substitution. So let this 4 to the power x, 4 to the power x will be our t and it will be easier to, to work with this with this substitution. So we will have right here we will have t square minus 20t and plus 64 equal to equal to 0. So we just solve this interesting interesting system by solving this we need to solve this system solving this equation how can you solve this equation there is there are a lot of way how can you solve the quadratic equation i want to share you a real good theorem so we need to find that sum t1 plus t2 equal to 20 and t1 times t2 equal to 64. so we need to find t1 and t2 which is good to this to these two equations and of course t1 equal to 16 and t2 equal to equal to 4 because we have 16 and 4 if you add this we will have 20 if you multiply this we will have 64 so we'll find all uh, all our our roots so t1 and t2 this all root is good for us because 4 to the power x can be equal to these two values so we'll have two equation two roots right here two equation because we have substitution 2 to the power x equal to t we have two two t's so we will have two answers 4 to the power x equal to 16 and 4 to the power x equal to equal to 4. And we need to solve these, these two equations. First one, really good case because 4 to the power x it can be equal to 4 square equal to 16, 4 square equal to 16 and simple case because x equal to x equal to 2. From here same element 4 to the power x equal to 4 to the first power and x equal to 1. This is only our axis, but we need to find our y. How can we find y? Let's express from here our y. I write this. This y equal to 3 minus x. 
So this is from second equation and we need to plug in these x's and we will have our y. Of course our x first equal to 2 and y first equal to 3 minus 2 will be 1. So we will have our first pairs of solution. And x second and y second we will have 3 minus 1 will be, will be 2. So as you can see we don't have one pair of solution, we have even even two pairs of of solution. So this is our our answer. Of course we can write it in parentheses. So our final answer uh, answer to this equation will be the next one. The pairs two and one and one and two. Of course we can check this check these pairs. We will have two and one. Sixteen plus four twenty. Two plus one three. And this one is the same because we'll have same basis, so it doesn't matter about one and two, we'll have a really good, real good answer. So really good system of equation. If you still have any question, write a question in comment, it will be really interesting to read it. Thank you so much for watching, subscribing, and see you in the next videos.